So uh, I grew up in an area of Luton called Lucy Farm. Um, you know, Luton's always, Luton's got, you know, a bad reputation. I'm not really sure why, uh, personally. Not just because that's where I'm from, but it, I've grown up there. I've never, I've never experienced any hardship, any trouble, any anything that you'd see on the news, you know what I mean? Nothing, nothing crazy. I've never had anything go on there. It's like growing up there with my family, you know, I've left no stone and turn for this. And um, I know I've got every single tool in the box to deal with this job. And, you know, and it, it just, it's be, it'd be a massive dream for me. You know, it's like you think, there's, there's a lot of personal accolades, you know what I mean? But this is massive. This is like, it's not only an accolade for myself, but this is an accolade for a town as well. Like Luton, I haven't had a British champion since Graham Earl and Billy Shaw, and I'll, you know what I mean? I'll be the third one. And in that same month, we could, we're could we pushing for a playoff place in the, um, the Premier League. All of that coming true. Could you imagine what that does for the town? Like, that's mental, isn't it? And you know what I mean? You've got, you got a team, football team, pushing for top honours in the top league. And you've got a hometown, a home Luton boy, main eventing on Channel 5 for a British title. Could you imagine all that coming off in the same month? Crazy. That, that was what it mean. It, it's, more, it's more than personal, do you know what I mean? This is massive. This isn't just to me. This is just to a lot of, to a whole town, do you know what I mean? This is massive. Been working, working really hard, and um, Terry's like Terry's been, Terry's been a governor man. He's been, he's been 100% with us. Not only has he trained us hard, but he's, he's trained us very smart as well. Like he's, he's, he's been very attentive to, to us. You know, what I mean, he's, he's brought us back when we needed it. He's pushed us on when we needed it, and it's been training and the prep has been perfect in my opinion. It's been absolutely perfect. But um, yeah, you know, my friends, they, they love it. They, you know, they support me massively as well. You know, they're always behind me, and. Um, yeah, you know, they, 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 they love the boxing like I do, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, it's oh, my friends, they're good, they're, and my family. Um, I win this fight, I think I win this fight, and, um, do you know what I mean? I, I, I stay undefeated, I win this fight. Um, whatever fashion it comes, I, I, I'm the winner. So, um, yeah, I just can't wait to get it done. It's going to be a good fight. I've always said it's going to be a British domestic like, a classic. It's going to be one to go down, but... Yeah, massive shout out to my sponsors, Perry Perry, um, Pepe's Perry Perry, um, Old Troll UK, DNI Family Butchers. Thank you to all my um, supporters and followers and family and friends that support me. It's massively appreciated. You know, without without everybody, including my sponsors and my family, and that it, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I am because you know, what I mean, it's, it's a hard it's a hard old game, and you do you know, no matter what anyone says, you do it on your own. But you, you do need you do need the push up sometimes, whether it's financially or just. You know, keep going, mate. You, you know what I mean? You need it all, so I'm, I'm thankful for everyone and hopefully I see everyone made it for you. I'm Lionel Shadofia. Catch me May 13th, live at the O2 Indigo, live on Channel 5. See you there.